and welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today we are going to stuff what's left over of my second paycheck for the month of December. My check has already gone out for the most part and paid the car insurance, the truck payment, my student loan, the electric, I have a Juice Plus bill, the internet, and cell phones. So all of those things have already been paid out of my check. I've also put aside $70 to go into our savings challenges. So what's left is $180 to stuff into my sinking funds. So the first one that's going to get money is investing. And I don't have an envelope for investing. I don't track it anywhere, but it does go into the bank and it goes straight over to my brokerage. And we're gonna put $40 into investing. So I need to get this to the bank, take care of this. And then next on the list is home repair. So we have almost paid off the front door that we received. We put in a new front door to the house. Yay! Love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so today's date. We're going to put $60 towards paying off the door. Like I said, we're, we're really close to paying off the door. So put this back in here, 50, 60. So looking forward to not having to worry about that bill. All right, next, miscellaneous. It's going to get some cash. It's going to get $20. It's at five right now, so to these deep, add 20. So there we 25 in here. All right. What's next? New vehicle. So we're not looking for a new vehicle right now, but we are going to eventually work on getting one. Um, I'd like to get a newer vehicle for my husband. We have an RV that we pull, and I would really like to have a newer truck. So that'll put 255 in here. And 20. So you'll notice that I've got some fake 100s and that's because I put them in the bank so they start to work for me. They don't earn a whole heck of a lot in interest but it's better than sitting here. So 100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 255. That matches. And then Next up is retirement. You know that this is a fake envelope, but I do like to track on here. So retirement's gonna get another $20 from my check. So $8.55 is what should be in there. And it actually goes into a high interest savings account. So I'm gonna put it in an envelope so it can make its way to the bank. There'll be $855 in there. And then savings, I'm gonna put the last 20 into savings, but I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, it's not going in this sinking fund. Instead, it's going to the bank and going into my sinking, my cash funds in the bank. So, oh, so we're not going to track this because this will just automatically get put into my savings account. I have a standard savings account that this goes into. So the difference between these two accounts is one, we can pull from this one if we need it. This one, we do not pull from. This also has a better interest rate than this one does, so that's another reason that they're different, so that this one will earn just a little bit more. So not much today, um, only $180. It was really fast to stuff. Um, I am going to change up how I stuff my envelopes in the future. Um, come January, because I have started so many savings challenges for the month for the year of 2023 2022 I am going to change up and instead of giving my sinking funds $20 because that's not what they typically get but I've got 30 plus sinking funds so instead of giving everybody 20 and getting around to it 
come January, I've decided to change my mind just a little, and they're going to get $5 so that I can start to give to more of my funds because I am really concerned with all those sinking challenges that I'm going to be doing starting January 1. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, I'd love if you'd hit subscribe down below, thumbs up, and I'd love to hear your comments. Bye guys.